In this section, we will look at mean, variance, and standard deviation for the binomial distribution. Here is a distribution for red and white poker chips. Let's verify the probability for drawing one white poker trip. So we do 3 choose 1, 3 tenths times 7 tenths to the second power. Using the calculator, hit the math button and go to PRB section and NCR option. Then enter the rest of the product as shown here. We can verify the rest of the probabilities as well. A good exercise for you. Now let's find the mean and standard deviation of the distribution. Recall that we do this by entering the information in our list section of our calculator, pressing second, stat, and edit. L1, we use the random variable X, 0, 1, 2, or 3 white poker chips. L2, we enter the probabilities for 0, 1, 2, or 3 white poker chips. L3 we use for the mean or expected value formula, which is x times p of x, so we enter L1 times L2. Then we sum up L3 by hitting second and stat, scrolling to the math section. Then scroll down to sum and hit enter, then hit second and the number 3 for L3. Now we input our mean of 0 0.9 into L4. Also, this means that we would expect to draw 0 0.9, which is just close to 1, if we randomly draw chips.
Now we enter the variance formula into L5 on our calculator, which is parentheses L1 minus L4 to the second power times L2. Then we want to sum this up. So the variance of this distribution is 0 0.63. We really want the standard deviation, so we take the square root of the variance. And we get 0 0.8 for the standard deviation of white poker chip. Now that we did that the long way, let's do the shortcut. For a binomial distribution, the mean is just n number of trials times p probability of a success. And the standard deviation is just the square root of n times p times q, probability of a failure. Example 2 just shows how we could have done this instead of the long way. We still get 0 0.9 for the mean and 0.8 for the standard deviation. Example 3, we have a multiple choice quiz with 25 questions and 5 possible answers each. We want to know what to expect if a student guesses on all the answers, which is the mean. We also want to find the standard deviation. Note that this is binomial since 1 over 5 probability of success and 4 over 5 is probability of failure. And all 25 questions are independent of each other, so we, ha we can use the easy formulas for the mean and standard deviation.
So the mean or expected value is found by n times p. And we get 5 as our mean, so we could expect the student to get 5 correct by guessing on all 25 questions. Now we calculate the standard deviation. And we get 2 for the standard deviation. So now we can find the range of usual values to see if 15 correct answers is usual. Recall minimum usual value is 2 standard deviations below the mean. And maximum usual value is two standard deviations above the mean. So the range of usual values is going to be between 1 and 9 correct answers. So 15 correct answers would be unusual if the student guessed on all of them. They, they probably studied a little bit. <laughs> Another example. For part A, we want to know the probability that at most six people drawn from ten people will have internet access. Writing this out, we see that it may be easier to use the complement. Using the complement, we know that p of x equals 1 minus p of not x. Writing this out, we can see that it is slightly less to calculate this way.
Now we just need to enter each of these into the calculator. This is the result for choosing exactly seven people with internet access. Now let's add that to the probability for choosing exactly eight people with internet access. We can add the previous result on the calculator by pressing second and then the negative button. Now let's add that result to the probability of exactly nine people with internet access. Wrong input here, so I got to redo this part. Now let's add our previous result to the probability of choosing exactly 10 people with internet access. Now we simply find 1 minus our result to get the probability of at most 6 people with internet access. Now we want to find the probability of exactly six people having internet access. Entering it in on the calculator. And we get about 8.8% .8 chance that exactly six people drawn from 10 will have internet access.
Now we want to find the probability that at least six will have internet access. Since we did a similar example in part A, and we have part B as well, we can write the probability in this way. P of x equals 6 plus P of x greater than 6. And p of x greater than 6 is part of our answer in part a, so we can use that. And done. Example 5, we want to find the mean and standard deviation of yellow M&Ms from a sample of 100. Since this is a binomial distribution, we can use the shortcut formulas. So for a sample of 100 M&Ms, we, we expect to find 14 yellow M&Ms. Now we find the standard deviation. And we get a standard deviation of 3.5 yellow M&Ms. For B, we need to find the range of usual values to see if 8 yellow M&Ms would be unusual. Minimum usual value is two standard deviations below the mean. Maximum usual value is two standard deviations above the mean.
So for a sample of 100 candies, the range of usual values for yellow M&Ms would be from 7 to 21. So eight M&Ms is not unusual.